Assalamu alaikum. So the lesson today is about uh, quadratic factoring. So today we are going to learn a new method never taught in any class except the class I teach and in and never uh, uh, never written in any book. So this method is called Alice method. So uh, this method is a question to uh, to my student who asked me: Is there any way we can factor quadratic expression that 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 cannot be factored using a AC method or direct factoring? So Alhamdulillah, I come up with this uh, method, and I want to share with you that in that case it will help you factor any. Uh, quadratic expression. Any quadratic expression, either the discriminant is perfect square or not perfect square, is positive or negative, either you want to use real number or a complex number, so this method will help you uh, to factor any quadratic expression. So let's uh, learn how to use it. So let's uh, x square px plus c be a quadratic expression so to factor this expression using Edis method so uh, using to factor ax square plus bx plus c using this method so in fact we try to uh, find so we find we try we try to find two number number p and q such that we have ax square plus bx plus c will be equal to a times x plus b times x plus q so that's the final factor the final factoring we will end up with is we have a times x plus b times x plus q so how to find out p and q so it's uh, very simple so first steps we need to find out the discriminant so first find d which is b squared minus 4 ac if it's passive or not passive so if you want to use complex uh, numbers so if it's not positive you still work if it's positive if you want to use a real number so it must be a greater or equal to zero so for real number so d must be greater or equal to zero this is the first steps you find out the discriminant the second steps you solve the system second you solve that system p plus q equal b over a and p minus q equal square root of the discriminant over a so when you find out those p and q especially use elimination is uh, more easier so use elimination to solve the system So you just need to add the first equations and second equations. You get p, and uh, you add, you subtract the first equation and the second equation to get q. So after you find out p and q, you just substitute them back into here and uh, get the answer. Now let's solve this by general case. So we have p plus q equal b over a, and uh, p minus q equals square root of the discriminant over a so if i add put 
both equations. So we end up having 2p equal b over a plus square root of the 2 square root over a, which means that I will have 2p equal b plus square root of the 2 square root over a. So divide both sides by 2 or multiply by half both sides. So this will cancel out. So p will be b plus square root of d over 2a. And I do the same thing here. So what I do next, I subtract. So p plus q equal b over a. And p minus q equals square root of d over a. So what I do next, I subtract. So what happened here, I will end up having 2q equal b over a minus square root of d over a then make common denominator so b minus square root over d over a so equal 2q then multiply both side by half so this will cancel out so q will be b minus square root of d over a and here time by 2 now we end up having a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to a and we have x plus p which is b plus square root of the discriminant over 2a times x plus q which is b minus square root of the discriminant over 2a so you will end up having this uh, statement after your factor so let's do an application and see some example so let's do some practice so i want to factor for example uh, factor x square minus 9x minus 22 see first I'm going to find out my discriminant so here let me write it down this what I'm looking for a is 1 so it's going to be just x plus p times x plus q so this is going to be my p and this is going to be my q now what is my discriminant discriminant is p squared minus 4 times ac which is minus 9 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 22 which is 81 uh, plus 88 which is 169 now this is my first steps my second steps I'm gonna solve the system so here I don't care if the discriminant is perfect square or not perfect square so this is not the case if it's per perfect square is good for us if it's not it's good so both case is good so now i'm going to solve for that system p plus q equal b over a so it's going to be minus 9 over 1 because a is 1 here so let me put it here and uh, p minus q equal square root of 169 over 1 so we already know that 169 is perfect square because this is uh, 13 square so square root of 169 is 13 so it's going to be 13 over 1 which is 13 here it just minus 9 so now what I do here I'm going to solve I'm going to solve for P and solve for Q so here I'm going to add here I'm going to add the both equations and here I will subtract both equations to get Q so here if I add I will have 2p equal 4 so divide by 2 so p will be 2 here I subtract so I will have 2q equal uh, minus 22 so I divide by 2 both sides so q equal minus 
11. So here, as you see here, I just substitute back, so I will have x squared minus 9x minus 22 equal x plus 2, x plus minus 11, which is minus 11, as, as you see, is really simple. So let's pick another example. So suppose I want to factor Five uh, x squared plus seven x plus two. Again, I want to write down this as this form: five times x plus p times x plus q. So I just need to find out what is p, what is q. So first, discriminant. So it's a uh, b squared. So b squared minus four times ac, which is seven squared minus four times five times 2, which is 49, minus 40, which is 9, and this is a perfect square, which is 3 square. So now, I will try to solve that system, p plus q equal 7 over a, and p minus q equal the square root of the discriminant over a, which is discriminant is 3 square and this is the same thing as 3 over 5 so now let me solve for p and q so here I'm gonna add p plus q equals 7 over 5 p minus q equal 3 over 5 and here I have p plus q equals 7 over 5 and p minus q equal 3 over 5 so here I will subtract and here I will add so here I will add here Sub subtract so here I will get my p so when we add q disappears so I get 2p equal 10 over 5 which is in fact just 2 then divide both sides by 2 so p will be equal to 1 here when I subtract I got 2q is 4 over 5 multiply both sides by half so q will be if I simplify here this is 2 so it's going to be 2 over 5 now what I do is just substitute uh, p and q into the uh, equations so I will end up having we do it here so this is will be 1 and this is 2 over 5 now if you don't want to have a fraction what you do you see that fraction has 5 on the denominator so what you do you multiply 5 it's like you distribute 5 into the second uh, expression if you don't like fractions so you will end up having x plus 1 times 5x plus 2 and this will be your final answer so let's pick another example so in a factor for example uh, 3x squared minus x minus 5 so here I try to make this as 3 times x plus p x plus q so this is what I try to uh, do so keep in mind if you don't have a coefficient in front of x that means this coefficient is minus 1 because we have a minus in front of x so again the first steps is my discriminant so p squared minus 4 times ac which is minus 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 5 so which is 1 plus 60 which is 61 this is not a perfect square but still I can factor so what I do now I solve that system so this is my second steps p plus q equal minus 1 over a and p minus q equal the square root of the discriminant over a so this my system so I'm gonna 
to elimination so I'm gonna add and subtract because to solve so P minus Q equals square root 61 over 3 and we have P plus Q equal minus 1 third and P minus Q equal square root of 61 over 3 so here what I do here I add and here I subtract so when I add the Q disappears so I got 2P equal minus 1 over 3 plus square root of 61 over 3 which is the same thing as minus 1 plus square root of 61 the whole thing over 3 because this is the common denominator is 3 then after that what I do I multiply by half both side so my P will be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 61 over 6 here I subtract so the P disappear I got 2Q equal minus 1 third minus square root of 61 over 3 so here is the same thing as minus 1 minus square root of 61 over 3 because I have a common denominator now what I do next I multiply both sides by half so I got Q will be equal to minus 1 minus square root of 61 over 6 so I got my P I got my Q so what I do now I just substitute, substitute back those here so let me get some space here so here I will end up having P is minus 1 plus square root of 61 over 6 times x plus q which is minus 1 minus square root of 61 over 6 and this will be your final factoring and as if you want to distribute the 3 either you distribute it on the first one second one is the same thing so it's your choice so either I distribute the 3 here and I will end up having qx plus minus 1 plus square root of 61 over 2 or I distribute on the second one where I will have 3x plus I will have minus 1 minus square root of 61 over 2 so either one so is your choice so this is the main idea behind edits method and it's uh, it's going to help you a lot to so to factor any kind of quadratic expression so i hope that you understand the idea behind the concept uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, assalamu alaikum and i uh, i forgot to tell you that any comment that helped me improve my way of teaching it's welcome thank you very much assalamu alaikum